Now you're gonna notice that I have paint on my body. Of course, rather than calling out in the comments, I'm gonna say now I just finished painting the gun a few hours ago, so I haven't had a shower yet. I just wanted to get the video out, so paint. G'day everyone, welcome to another video by myself, Andrew DFT. And of course, by the title, yes, it's another Fortnite gun, and it is, of course, the Scoped Assault Rifle. Now, the Scoped Assault Rifle in the game is, of course, a favored rifle to most players. It is gonna give you the advantage of giving you the scope. I mean, a lot of snipers, unfortunately, have that massive bullet drop, but luckily, with this one, it doesn't have that so much. Therefore, you can get some pretty neat headshots and get those high percentage point hits on the enemy and uh, hopefully take them down. So this is my final result. This is the outcome I got after a day's worth of creation. This cost me about $15 worth of material and about 13 hours all up of uh, production time. That's actually incredibly quick. I mean, if you were to try to 3D print this with a 3D printer, that would be an excessive of maybe 48 to 60 hours worth of print time when you can complete this out of styrofoam and paint it up all within 13 hours. I didn't spend 13 hours non-stop, of course, that was done over two days, but for the most part, that's an incredibly quick build, and of course, at that $15 price tag for material costs to put on your walls, display, uh, prop is, that's phenomenal. Now, I did say it was made out of styrofoam, so of course, if you want, you can go ahead and grab this template via the link in the description box below. The PDF's there, all free, ready to go, all scaled out to the same size as this. Now, you will be noticing that I didn't put the final tip on the end here. There is supposed to be this really weird um, barrel tip. I tried to make it, it didn't come out very well, so I said bugger it, I'll just ignore it. So hopefully most people won't even notice it unless I uh, advise them, so I stuck myself up there. But for the most part, you don't really need it. It still looks the part. Some people might be a bit iffy, but they can be iffy, I don't care. But of course it went through the same production, like I said, it went through a simple stage of getting the templates, applying the template onto foam and cutting out the main body from the XPS foam and then going ahead and breaking down the layers. This one was a rather interesting build as it did have a lot of additional layers to add on to the 40 millimeter core. So that was just going about slowly pacing it through, making sure that I put everything where I needed to. And of course, excavating those additional layers to break and make that 3D appearance that we so were after. And well, I think I got the idea design uh, to completion. But yeah, that's it. I know a lot of you guys were hounding me to do this, so I hope you guys are happy now. And of course, this now completes the backboard behind me, so I can go put it on right now. And it's all pre-cut, so it should just sit nicely in there. Yeah. Now, before I wrap the video up, of course, I've got the minigun in creation. You're probably wondering, wait, why did I put this one out? Aren't I working on a minigun? Yes, I am. It's just a, it's a bigger prop. It takes a lot more than 13 hours. And to make sure I don't stuff it up or speed it up, I'm doing it over several, well, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. But it is getting there. I'll show you now. It's so big, I can't even fit it on one screen. And I am doing it as lightweight as possible, which means it is primarily made out of styrofoam and cardboard. If I was to make it out of anything a bit more heavy duty, this thing would weigh a ton and it would just be pointless and too expensive. So making it out of lightweight cardboard and XPS foam, once it's painted, it should look the part and it's practical. Now, of course, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known that I was producing this a few days prior to actually putting out this video. Of course, if you want to be a part of those people, you can just simply click the link in the description box below and follow me there on Instagram, Andy underscore DFT. That's where I post all my photos and, of course, preview photos prior to these videos. So if you want to get a head start on uh, either getting into the gun creation or knowing what I'm about to do, that's the best way to do it. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you enjoyed the video and you're new here, please consider subscribing. A lot of cool content to come, tutorials, and of course, until the next one, I'll catch you later.